Hi guys, Mark is here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, January 26, 2023. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 640, and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, stars of Love Between Fairy and Devil, Esther Yu and Dylan Wang reunite on stage. Costume drama The Prisoner of Beauty announces its lead cast of Lorena Song and Liu Yuning. Zhang Zhehan drops yet another song, Primordial Theater. And reportedly, Wang Lihong is having a hard time selling out his concert, so I checked out the box office for myself. But first, here's what's recently premiered, one drama for today and yesterday. Viva Femina stars Yin Tao and Jasper Liu. The modern drama premiered yesterday, January 25th. According to Baidu, Yin Tao's character, a sales director of a beauty center, meets Jasper Liu's, a young aesthetic physician. This causes a wave of ripples in her peaceful but interesting life. Viva Femina is slated for 36 episodes and is available on IQ.com with English subs. That's it for recently premiered dramas. Moving on, dramas that recently announced their premiere dates. I have just one to update on, a modern romance drama called When I See Your Face. When I See Your Face stars Duan Aojuan and Chen Bohao. Yesterday, it announced the January 29th premiere. According to IGE, it follows a young girl who suffers from severe face blindness. One day, she meets an international exchange student who helps her when she is accused of plagiarism. Romance and comedy ensues in their eventual meetings when she acts like she's never seen him before. When I read the synopsis, I thought face blindness is just a plot device the writers came up with, but apparently it is a real thing. I looked it up and the technical name for it is prosopagnosia, a disorder characterized by the inability to recognize faces. You learn something new every day. When I See Your Face is slated for 15 episodes and will stream on IGE. Next up for drama updates, The Knockout is knocking out all the competition on IGE and surging to the top of TV charts. The Knockout is a crime drama starring Zhang Yi, Zhang Shengwen, and Li Yitong. It premiered on January 14th and as of today has a super impressive 8.9 average score from over 100,000 ratings on Douban. It recently broke 10,800 popularity points on IGE, making it number one on the platform's all-time popularity list. Here are the top 7 on that all-time list. With 10,816 points, The Knockout sits atop the list, followed by My Heroic Husband, Love Between Fairy and Devil, New Life Begins, Wild Bloom, A Lifelong Journey, and Chasing the Undercurrent. So this means I'll be checking out the drama. I'd heard some good things about it, but I didn't know it was going to dominate like that. It's also been topping viewing charts in the past couple of days, and it looks on course to beat out Meet Yourself and Three Body to become the top TV drama this week. For those of you who are already following it, what do you think of it so far? According to Baidu, it follows Zhang Yi's character, a cop who gets acquainted with a fishmonger played by Zhang Songwen. Eventually, they drift apart as they ply their trade on different sides of the law. The Knockout is slated for 39 episodes and is available on IQ.com with English subs. And lastly, for drama updates, The Prisoner of Beauty has announced its lead cast. The Prisoner of Beauty is an upcoming costume drama and it will star Lorena Song and Liu Yuning. This is the poster they shared and the announcement they made on their official Weibo yesterday. Lorena Song last starred in 2022's Legally Romance with Huang Zitao. It's been a while since she starred in a costume drama. Her last one was 2020's Guardians of the Ancient Oath with Liu Wu. Liu Yuning, on the other hand, has been all over the costume drama genre. He was in Heroes and The Long Ballad and has The Legend of Anle and A Journey to Love coming up. The Prisoner of Beauty was actually officially announced in January 2021. At the time, the producer, writer, and director were already on board, but they did not confirm their cast yet. What do you guys think about this Lorena Song Liu Yuning pairing? That's it for drama updates. Moving on, I have a film update. It's a bit of good news, not so good news for The Hidden Blade. 
The Hidden Blade stars Tony Leung and Wang Yibo. The Republican-era spy movie hit theaters on January 22nd, and the good news is it's done terrific business at the box office. Yesterday, they shared this poster to announce they'd broken 371 million RMB in sales, approximately 55 million USD. Up here, it shows a list of the movie's scores on review and rating sites, and the not-so-good news is the 6.8 rating on Douban. Indeed, as of yesterday, The Hidden Blade has an average 6.8 score on Douban, and that's from over 430,000 ratings, so quite a large number of people chimed in to rate it. Considering the anticipation for the movie, the number of pre-sale tickets it sold, etc., 6.8 seems like a bit of a letdown. I haven't seen the movie, but a couple of days ago I read a comment saying that Tony Leung only appears in the first half of the movie, and that some viewers in China have said that if you go in as a Tony Leung fan, you can leave halfway through. Well, the biggest draw of the movie for me is Tony Leung, so I gotta say that news has dampened my expectations. Set during the War of Resistance, the movie follows nameless spies as they risk their lives to deliver information to their leaders. Alright, that's it for film updates, moving on celebrity updates, and today we begin with a quick update on Esther Yu and Dylan Wang, who recently reunited on stage. Esther Yu and Dylan Wang are the stars of last summer's super popular Xianxia drama, Love Between Fairy and Devil. On January 24th, at the 2023 annual Internet Audiovisual Festival, the two stars took to the stage and treated fans to a couple of theme songs from the drama. Esther sang Losing Memory, and Dylan sang In Search of You. On the topic of songs, Zhang Zhehan recently dropped a new one. Since December last year, 31-year-old Zhang Zhehan has dropped a few songs in relatively quick succession, beginning with Melancholy Sunshine, which soared to the top of iTunes. Then soon after, it was Night Errant. And then a little over a week ago, it was Journey. Yesterday, he dropped a new one, Primordial Theater. Its official lyric video is available on YouTube. Evidently, Zhang Zhehan's been a busy guy, but he still took the time to wish everyone a happy new year in a video clip in which he had his mom and his cat by his side. Before we get to our next celebrity segment, a quick word on ExpressVPN. And whether I'm at home or traveling, the first thing I do before I surf the net is log on to ExpressVPN and connect to a server. Not only do I use ExpressVPN to protect my data from spies and hackers, I find it especially useful to unblock geo-restricted content like dramas and movies on YouTube, Netflix, WeTV, and other websites. ExpressVPN is giving away 3 extra months free on a 12-month plan to all viewers of my channel. All you have to do is use the link in the description below, expressvpn.com forward slash Marcus here. Alright, next up for celebrity updates and still sticking with the theme of singers, here's an update on Wang Li Hong's comeback concert. According to an article published on January 23rd by Hong Kong media outlet On.CC, Wang Li Hong's having a hard time selling out his concert despite promising two new songs. 46-year-old Wang Li Hong is set to perform at Resort World Theatre in Vegas for his comeback concert on January 28th, which is just two days away. Seeing as the On.CC article was published a few days ago, yesterday I went to the venue's online box office to take a look for myself, and I'd say there's still around 300 tickets available. Capacity is around 5,000. The concert, titled One Li Hong, will be Li Hong's first live performance since his very public and messy cheating scandal in 2021. Li Hong announced that he will be debuting two new songs during the concert, one of which is titled One, which is said to be inspired by the strength he got from the Book of Job from the Old Testament. When the concert was first announced in December last year, Li Hong said that he would perform even if only one person shows up. Lastly, for celebrity updates now, Leo Wu's arrived in Finland. Yesterday, 23-year-old Leo Wu was photographed arriving at the airport in Helsinki, Finland. For a few months now, Leo has been rumored to star in a new drama with Angel Zhao called During the Snowstorm. Earlier this month, rumors spread that they were going to begin filming in late January. Looks like there may be some truth to the rumors. 
during the snowstorm is set in the world of professional billiards and tells the story of a couple of billiard players who meet in a once-in-a-decade snowstorm one night and fall in love. When Leo arrived at the airport, he was holding a long, slim item. Netizens noticed this and jokingly asked, Is that your character's cue stick? Leo last starred in Love Like the Galaxy, which had a terrific run last summer, whereas Angel Zhao starred in one of last year's biggest hits, Reset. I will update again if and when something official is announced for During the Snowstorm. On that note, it's Thursday today, so time for another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. As you guys know, every Sunday we do the Top 10 Chinese Web and TV Dramas of the Week. In this segment, I give some of my thoughts and predictions as to who the champions will be. To recap, last week's top web drama was The Blood of Youth with Li Hongyi and Liu Xueyi. And the top TV drama was Three Body with Edward Zhang and Yu He Wei. I'm backing The Blood of Youth to remain the top web drama, and as I mentioned earlier, the knockout with Zhang Yi and Zhang Shengwen is knocking out the competition at the moment, so I'm backing it to be this week's top TV drama. So that's The Blood of Youth and The Knockout to be champions this week. What do you guys think? And that's been another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. Before I let you guys go, I want to give a big virtual hug to Jilin Molina, who recently became a patron on my Patreon. Thank you for your support, Jilin. And that brings us to the end of this episode. This show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!